Welcome to our channel. In today's episode of Who Died Today, we take a moment to remember and honor notable figures who have passed away recently. We'll provide a brief overview of their lives, careers, and contributions. Join us as we reflect on their legacies and the impact they made. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Brian Truman. He was an English broadcaster, writer, and voice actor. He was known mainly for his work with the animation studio Cosgrove Hall. He wrote and or narrated children's cartoon series, mostly during the 1970s and 1980s. Truman's cartoons were originally shown on ITV, in its CITV programming slot. However, he also presented the BBC's children's film quiz screen test, taking over from original host Michael Rod between 1979 and 1983. Prior to taking up a writing career Brian worked for many years on local programming in the Northwest, from its Truman to Granada reports. He also had a stint hosting Granada's film review show, Cinema, taking over from Michael Parkinson. In 1951, in his youth, he appeared on stage for the Ermston Amateur Operatic Society in a production of Merry England, playing the role of Big Ben. Truman died on September 1, 2024 following a short illness, he was 92 years old. Eric Gilliland. He was an American television producer, writer, actor, and whistler. He graduated from Glenbrook South High School in 1980 and from Northwestern University School of Communication in 1984. He has a background in producing and developing various television projects. Gilliland has been involved in producing several TV series and is recognized for his contributions to both scripted and unscripted content. His career highlights include working on projects that span a range of genres and formats. He has collaborated with notable networks and production companies, demonstrating his versatility and expertise in television production. Most recently, he directed and co-wrote the much-lauded NBC TV pilot, Downwardly Mobile, which managed to reunite Roseanne Barr and John Goodman in the starring roles. Gilliland receives a special thanks in the show's credits and is rumored to be a future guest on the list. He died on September 1, 2024, he was 65 years, died from cancer. James Darren. He was an American television and film actor, television director, and singer. During the late 1950s and early 1960s, he had notable starring and supporting roles in films including Gidget, 1959, and its sequels, The Gene Krupa Story, 1959, All the Young Men, 1960, The Guns of Navarone, 1961, and Diamond Head, 1962. As a teen pop singer, he achieved hit singles including Goodbye Cruel World in 1961. He later became more active in television, starring as Dr. Anthony Newman in the science fiction series The Time Tunnel. He appeared in the regular role of Officer James Corrigan in the police drama T.J. Hooker, 1983, and in the recurring role of Vic Fontaine in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, 1998. He had support roles in two films directed by Phil Carlson, The Brothers Rico, 1957, a film noir, playing the brother of Richard Conti, and Gunman's Walk, 1958, a western with Van Heflin and Tab Hunter. Darren had a supporting role in the World War II film The Guns of Navarone, 1961. In the 1970s, Darren performed regularly in nightclubs. He focused on guest starring on TV series, such as Love, American Style, SW8, Police Woman, Black Sheep Squadron, The Feather and Father Gang and others. His birth date is June 8, 1936. Died on September 2, 2024, Darren died in his sleep in Los Angeles he was 88 years old. Ivan Gerlov. He was a Bulgarian journalist and television presenter. He was a graduate of Sofia University, where he studied journalism. In 1972, he joined the BN staff, and hosted the show, Panorama, before being succeeded by Boyko Vasilev. Gerlov worked at Nova TV and BTV. Gerlov was married to BNR journalist Donka Stambuliska and they had two children. Gerlov's journalism often focuses on political and social issues, and he has gained recognition for his contributions to the field through various media outlets. His work is influential in shaping public discourse and bringing important issues to light. His birth date is February 6, 1943. He died from complications of a traumatic brain injury in Sofia, on September 3, 2024, he was 81 years old. Julian Ortega. 
He was a Spanish actor. He was best known for Caranti, 2020, Elite, 2018, and Now and in the Hour, 2010. He has appeared in a range of productions, showcasing his versatility across different genres. Ortega's notable television work includes roles in Spanish series and telenovelas, while his film career features various roles that highlight his acting range. Additionally, he has been involved in theater, further demonstrating his skills and dedication to his craft. His birth year is 1983. He died on August 25, 2024, he was 41 years old, died from cardiac arrest. Teresa Bright. She was an American vocalist and musician of native Hawaiian music who played ukulele and guitar. Her music is popular in Japan as well as in Hawaii and the United States mainland. Much of her repertoire features lyrics in the Hawaiian language, but she had an extensive jazz and hapahaole repertoire as well. She received a Lifetime Achievement Award from Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts on December 6, 2020. Bright died on September 1, 2024, at the age of 64.